do a thing. So we are in August, which is the month of builds and staying focused in what we're building in our lives. And we're in the grow hour. And I love, because it's Monday and that's on purpose. I love hearing, you know, what came through in the weekends for people. So I would love if someone would like to share what was the best part of your weekend. And I can share that I had a first this weekend with the kids, which I love first. So if you do something for the first time, all about getting out of your comfort zone and growing outside of your comfort zone. So, or expanding your comfort zone. Um, so we went camping for the first time as a family and got to ease into that with going with a friend and her daughter and they're like seasoned campers. So it was easing into it for us and we had a really great time swimming. So the first for our family of camping and um, that was definitely joyful and sharing those moments this weekend with my family. So if anyone would like to unmute and share what was the best part of your weekend, I would love to start Monday off with sharing about some moments that you had. I would say um, a first for Brian and I is moving in peace. Typically, we, um, because we both are pretty stubborn, <laughs> and we both are pretty like, this is the idea and all of that. And so moving in peace, it was really peaceful and actually fun. And we're like, maybe we could do this. Maybe we could, like flip houses or something. And so it was, it was a lot of fun. And I got lots of bruises. Wait, you can't see. So I bruise really easily. So like carrying boxes and putting them on my legs and different things like that. You, yeah, um, I got the bruises to show that it was a good move. So. You were using your muscles. That just proves you were using your strength and carrying the stuff. And that's awesome. Well, we will celebrate the, the peace in moving. That sounds fabulous. Amy, how about you? Yeah, I bruise easily too. And my the furniture in my house likes to just like jump out at me when I'm walking. So it's like always bruising. Um, for me, I would say it was last night. I watched this movie um, called Our Friend. And it was so random, but it was like heart wrenching. But it was one of those, it was based on a true story, but it was one of those stories where like, even though I was like, sobbing it was like such a good reminder of um just like what's really important in life so mm -hmm. I sort of like welcomed that message even though I was like that movie was stupid <laughs> <laughs> yes I love that well and sometimes that good cry is exactly what we need in that reminder to go with the storyline so I love that you're like yeah it was just kind of a different yeah, no, I love that. I love, I love having movies that just kind of remind us of what is important and priorities in our life and how cool to come off of vacation with that thought. Very cool. Okay, it is 10 half. So I love that Nicole shared that she was rereading a book to keep it fresh in the brain. And um, this is something that um, I really think that is, so I have never called myself a reader, um, but I love to like re-watch, re-listen and like regurgitate whatever can happen um, because I feel like it just goes deeper and deeper every time we um, re-watch re or redo the things, right? Like there's regrowth that happens um, in, in those processes and that goes a little deeper. And I, you think about it a little differently because we're in a different place in our life when we, um, you know, consume the content again. So I'm a huge proponent of like going back to get more information and like soak up as much as I can from, from content. So I'm curious, um, if anyone, you know, has anything about that, because I think that's a growth thing that it grows deeper when you when you go back to it and you continuously learn from it I think that we learn to grow deeper instead of broadening our horizon of what we're consuming it goes deeper in that and um, um, it's actually um, um, Proctor uh, I can't think of uh, the first name right now yep 
Um, but he talks about how um, I, I saw like he literally will every single day the think think Brit think or go Bob Proctor yes that's it um, that he studies the book the, um, the think think big grow rich or whatever that book is he he literally um, studies that book every single day. Um, since he picked it up every day, he studies something in there. Yeah, think and grow rich. That's it. And um, I love the idea of of literally staying focused on things that we've already read or watched and consumed because of that deeper um, growing to um, to go in the depth of things. So I'm curious if that stirs anything for you guys, or if you have any thoughts around, you know the re-watching or rereading of things for a deeper um, learning or understanding of what it is? Um, not specific to re-watching or rereading, but I do find that um, like with coaching clients, I find that over time, inevitably, they're like, I feel like I already dealt with this. Like I already did all the work to like, you know, move through this and now it's back and it's like it's not back like you still did all of that work you're just in a new place so mm -hmm. you're seeing it from a new perspective and you're feeling it from a new perspective and that unfortunately means more work sometimes um so i think it's the same concept just you know and it's you know being open to things like sometimes you read something and people you know are like oh my gosh that was like such a transformational book or such an inspirational thing and like maybe you're not feeling that but like then at another time when you're like ready for it you get that so i totally i totally understand what you're saying like it's real <laughs> <laughs> it's real yeah i love i love that about um the, the the new perspective right like we're in different places that means we're feeling different things and someone else um their understanding of a book is definitely going to be a different experience because you're all in different places at different times so i love that perspective and that thought with that too how about you nicole anything coming up for you since you are the one rereading the book. <laughs> Just good reminders. Yeah, I have to agree with everything you said about like every time you like reread it or rewatch it, like it's deeper, right? Or you're in a different place and it just makes sense in a different way. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, I, I find that I take different things and I'm a note taker, so um, like when I go back to things and then I look at the notes and I'm like, oh, okay. And I kind of just have a deeper thought process. Um, and I think that goes to being, you know, in a different, um, energy that, um, I'm able to kind of get that different view or perspective in, um, in specifically for me, I'm talking about like personal development because I'm a huge personal development, personal growth junkie. <laughs> I say that I'm a recovering, um, a recovering, like buy all the all the courses kind of person because I, I have something for everything I think <laughs> so I love that and um we do have one magic minute did you have anything that you ladies wanted to mastermind about growth um or about your weekend anyone want to share their moments from their weekend um now would be the time we have one magic minute No. Okay. Well, as a reminder, we do have the um, connection hour that is happening on Thursday this week at two o'clock central standard time. And I would invite everyone to get it on your calendar and come connect with members. Those are not recorded um, because it is about going deep and um, having that growth in who we are and being vulnerable and present with the people that are there to um, learn more about each other on the next level. So wanted to invite you to the first Thursday of each month, two o'clock is connection hour. 
So we're segued out of the month of July, which was faith, into building now and talking about what we're building for the month and we're in the grow hour. So what area or what focus might you have, well, you're so right, intentions, have um, to focus on in this month. So you're going to ponder that in just a minute. Okay, so we're, the question is, um, what are you focused on building um, or growing in this month, whether it is a specific project or a mindset or a category or area of your life that you want to um, really focus on building in this month. I'm really curious to kick off the month, what your thoughts are around where your focus is going to be this month, what you're intending. Um, I'm hoping to, well, not hoping to, I am um, building a plan for fall activities. So I have some classes. Um, I'm actually going to be teaching some in-person classes at my friend's craft store, which will be nice. And then just um, figuring out where and when I want to do things for the fall. Mm, love that. I love that. That's a great reminder for me. I love the fall. Love that you're planning ahead and that um, I'm hearing in-person fun stuff for your creativity. So that's super exciting. Yeah. And I mean, she's also managing now um, in um, a farmer's and artisan's market. It's every other um, weekend. So I'm actually going to be participating in that too. Um, selling some like fun oil products and stuff. So I feel like that's a great way to just like connect with new people. So excited. Yeah, that's super fun. Congratulations, getting it out there and getting a plan in, in order um, so that you're prepped and ready for the fall. Um, because those are, I think, when the, those um, events really start to pick up and hopefully stay picking up this year, um, that you can get out there and share your, your love for your oils and meet some new, get some new connections, get some fun going in your life, right? That sounds awesome. Okay, well, it's 10 after and we will see you at 10 to the hour. So one of the things that I... Um, did that was bonus during this last hour was, um, so because I have intentionally filled my space, AKA my social media with, um, inspirational people, motivational people, people that are growing and who they are more and more. Um, those are what comes on my feed, right? I've, I've intentionally put, um, the people in my space that are uplifting, um, positive, but also open, right? So all of the things in my newsfeed, anytime I do scroll, which isn't very often anymore, but if I do a couple scrolls, I find inspirational posts from my friends and my people on my social media so easy that I'm like, they resonate so much because I've intentionally put these people in my life too, right? And kept them there. So um, I have one that I want to read, but I was going to share the thing that um, I've decided was that um, I just started saving them to my phone and I'm putting them in my stories. I'm putting, I'm posting them. I'm going to be posting them in um, the OP community, or actually maybe I'll do them on the public page um, and any of them that are available to share. I want to just be able to share them from those people, but a lot of my friends don't have public um, access to be able to share them out. So what I'm doing is saving the image and then just sharing them because they're such great messages that resonate with who I am that um, I don't have to look far for amazing content to share to keep motivating other people and it's sending inspiration instead of recreating the wheel with everything I'm gonna push out my friend's content more and highlight that so one of the things that I just came across that I wanted to share um, it says to be human is to understand that happiness isn't a consistent but to be human is to understand that neither is sorrow or grief or heartache. To be human is to feel it all, to welcome the lessons that come in the dark days, to welcome the softness that comes from the lightness of what saves you. To be human is to try with every 
inch of your patchwork soul to be proud of who you are, to care, to heal, to be your own home, even on the days that you don't like yourself, even on the days where it doesn't come naturally. To be human is to grow in the ups and to grow in the downs. So keep growing, keep growing. And I was like, hell yeah, that's awesome. So, and it's a girl like on a cliff, just like laying by the water, just like hanging out. And I was like, that's, that's my vibe right now. So I wanted to share that with you. Did that stir anything for you, um, the two of you that are on here right now, about um, growing in the dark days and in the light days and knowing that it's all a lesson in being human and feeling all of the things? What do you guys got? Yeah. For me, like, um, like, I feel like we live in such like a stay positive culture, like, all the fucking, uh, and I fell into that, like, after my injury, right? And yeah, um, suppressed every emotion that I possibly had, even, like, the good ones. Like, you can ask my family, um, my close family, and they'll tell you, like, they used to ask me, don't you ever feel excitement? And I was like, no. Like, ultimately, like, I felt dead inside. Like, I, there was nothing. So, like going through the good and the bad and just feeling it and allowing yourself to be human. Yeah, I love that. Did so so you're cutting out just a little bit, but we could hear you. Um just so that you're a no, um that you're aware. But um but what I love about that is that it is knowing that feeling the the bad things, right? It's not bad to feel them. It's allowing ourselves to feel whatever we're feeling and allowing ourselves to then release it so that we can feel new things and um, be open to the darkness and the light because we grow through both sides of it. And we need both to, um, to know that when it is light, right? If you're just always in the dark, then you don't know what the light is or vice versa. If you're just always in rainbows and sunshine and denial about, you know, everything is not rainbows and sunshine and it's not always happy and that's okay and we need to release whatever it is that isn't any longer serving us so that we can move through them. I love that. I feel like that was, a, that was a huge thing um, this last week. I talked to my brother, I can't remember what day, but um, we were talking about the shitty stuff. We were talking about the stuff that is not, not cool right now, you know, and um, still having hope in that there will be a solution and there will be, there will be, you know, there's good that comes from his situation, you know, with lymphoma, um, but his closest advocate and closest doctor advocate said, I, I feel like we're coming to the end of our options, you know, and like, we've got to fight to find options. And so to be able to, um, we ended our call because I needed to, I can't remember what I needed to do, but I needed to hop off right then. So we ended our call on more of a heavy note. I wouldn't even say a negative note because it's, it's heavy. You know, and being able to go to the heavy things together. And then he texted me and he's like, guys, you know, that, that most of our conversation was not positive. And I'm like, dude, I want to be having conversations with you. So whatever that looks like, whether they're positive, negative, heavy, light, funny, not, you know, like planning for the future or plan, like I'm here for it all. And so to be able to know that being human is being there for it all. It's feeling it. It's I'd rather be talking to him about that than not talking to him. You know, like when when those are the options, I would rather be talking about the heavy stuff than going through the heavy stuff. So that sits really well with me in that things aren't always like I am an eternal optimist and that will always be the same um, and being real in the moments. Yeah, I think the world does need more optimism um, and that 
being able to have the hard conversations. And I love that you say that it's a conversation, you know, and it's not just um, one side of someone being like, well, I don't want to sit here and have a pity party about what's happening, but it's a conversation. It's real life. It's what you're, it's what you're going through that we can grow through it together and share the weight. You know, when you're, when you're open and vulnerable in those kinds of situations, especially it's like a shared heavy weight that, um, that's support. Like to me, that's support. Yeah. So love that. Thank you for sharing ladies. 